So moving on from there, our resident Kiwi Ruben will be presenting space travel, why it's not actually rocket science. <laughs> I'm actually really excited because the whole that, that whole last five minutes was the, the best segue ever. Time right. Right? Yeah. Do this. Okay, so I want to start off with um, a, a theory of mine, which is that the democratization of space travel is not a money problem. It is a people caring problem. Woo! Right? Um, and so, um, yes, space is expensive, but uh, you know, so is insurance, and so is a bunch of other stuff, and, and bailouts. But uh, I don't want to be preaching to the choir, or perhaps even preaching to fellow preachers uh, here today. <laughs> what I am going to do is I'm going to borrow a quote from Neil deGrasse Tyson, who got it from what was his name, Antoine de Saint de Exupéry, right? Uh, if you want to build a spaceship, don't hurt people together to collect wood and don't assign them tasks and work, but rather teach them to long for the endless immensity of the sea. And I think that the day that we can collectively infect the rest of the world. Uh, with our passion for space is the same day that the conversation goes from how do we afford this to let's make this happen for a start. Um, but there is a there's a but there's a thing, and so the thing is if you want to get a bunch of people who don't know about this stuff excited and engaged and involved, it's hard to do that with something that comes with a six-figure price tag attached to it. And so I actually found somebody and told them that space commercial travel is possible, and this is the face that happened, right? <laughs> now watch, 10 seconds later after this, I took another photo after we found, I told them the price of it, and that'll come up in a, in, a, in a second, and you'll notice what happens. You'll see the difference. <laughs> so they've aged 10 years at least, and uh, they're no longer interested, right? So it's, it's not accessible, and we need something new that, that people can actually relate to and understand and engage with and so on and so forth. And it needs to have certain traits. So uh, we need something that is easy to understand, we need something that is inspiring, we need something that is easy to engage with and personally invest into, and we need something that is, that is easy to share, unless we want to spend a bajillion dollars on, uh, on marketing, right? <laughs> something that can fit into 140 characters, ideally. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, I have started, I, I built a website called the I Dream of Space, and uh, every time somebody gives us $10, we give them a poster, and a 1 in 25,000 chance of going to space for reals. Mm. Right, so the math here is $10 times 25000 $250,000. We take 200 but we buy a ticket. Uh, $50,000 left over per round. I want to do it once <laughs> this year. Next year I want to do it once a month. The year after I want to do it um, uh, once a week. And uh, if you do that, um, what happens is you end up having this thing which is actually generating revenue and getting out to people who normally wouldn't engage with this kind of thing, uh, which is useful because then you can start taking some of this revenue and you can invest it back into other uh, community-led space projects like mini SpaceX's or XPRIZES, uh, open source space projects, microfunding for lean space startups, um, more space ups, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and research grants and a bunch of other kind of stuff. Right, so that's the other thing uh, other than the, um, the Hearts and Minds campaign. Um, now the, the reason I chose this is people get fast. Uh, $10 equals you in space maybe is only 22 characters. Right? Or 24, depending on how it's called you. <laughs> so um, the second thing is that it's bigger than it looks. Last year, $52 billion was spent on lottery tickets. Around the world, that was $270 billion, right? So there is room to move. People are spending a lot of money on ideas. It's just a matter of making that real. Um, third thing is that it's lean. This whole business costs less than $1,000 to, uh, to make. It's basically a website with a, with a payment portal. Uh, we built it in about four hours. Um, <laughs> but it's useful, so that's good. Um, the fourth thing is that it's proprietary, which means that we can change direction, we can add new products, we can don't have to worry about these pesky national borders and funding cuts and uh, regulations. Uh, proprietary is good, it moves fast, it adapts very quickly. And so, um, <laughs> so what I really appreciate this weekend is um, advice and guidance from the, uh, the space up community. Uh, I've been doing startup stuff for, for some time. You can check me out on LinkedIn. Uh, but I'm really bad at space stuff and I'm kind of new. So if anybody has any ideas, uh, I'm really interested in finding a, an independent, impartial organization that can actually do the draw rather than us to uh, create some degree of transparency when that happens. Uh, I'd love to speak to somebody from the Silicon Valley Space Center, wherever those guys are. There you go. Um, space tweets, let's be friends, right? 
and, uh, and, and that's kind of it, really. I mean, um, yeah, anybody over uh, the weekend, feel free to come and interrupt my life and tell me how we can be doing this better. <laughs> and of course, if you know anybody who has $10 and is into space, just throwing that out there. Um, yeah. Thank you.